woman and man in the world have a place to call home. This is the size here, fit to travel. As Secretary General, having been chosen by all member states, I must be at the service of them all equally and with no agenda but the one enshrined in the UN Charter. A surge in the diplomacy for peace would be my priority. I know that that depends a lot on member states, that the Secretary General has a limited capacity, uh, but uh, acting as a convener, as a catalyst, an honest broker, I hope it will be possible to bring more and more member states together. It's high time to come together and understand that the common interest for global security is much more important than the eventual divisions that might exist among them. So I believe that in relation to migration, what it is important is first, to create as much as possible opportunities for legal migration as a way to see human rights respected and as a way to fight the role of smugglers and traffickers, and simultaneously uh, to have development cooperation policies also taking into account human mobility to make migration an option, not an act of despair. The empowerment and the protection of women and girls is a central priority. And second, that we work inside the organization to reach parity between men and women at all levels. Let's be clear. We have too many meetings with too many people discussing too many issues with too little decisions. And I believe we need to move from this approach to a more focused approach in relation to producing results. Over the last 10 years, I have witnessed firsthand the suffering of the most vulnerable people on earth. I have visited war zones and refugee camps where one might legitimately ask what has happened to the dignity and worth of the human person, the dignity and worth of the human person referred in our charter. What has made us immune to the plight of those most socially and economically underprivileged? And all this makes me feel the acute responsibility to make human dignity the core of my work and, I trust, the core of our common work.